Hi, my name is Andrew Jorgensen. I'm an application engineer with Electromatic Products out of our Solon, Ohio office. What I'm going to show you today is a migration from our MP277 Classic HMI to our TP1200 Comfort Innovated HMI line. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is open our WinCC Flex project and save it as a WinCC Flexible 2008 Service Pack 2 project. This is because the migration utility will only work on projects that are saved in 2008 Service Pack 2. So what I'll do, I will go to Project, Save As Version, select WinCC Flexible 2008 Service Pack 2, and name my file and hit Save. Once that's done, I can save my project, close out of WinCC Flexible, and move on to TIA Portal. Once I'm in Portal, what I want to do is go to Project, Migrate, and select the project that I just saved. Select a destination and hit Migrate. It'll run through the migration process, which can take anywhere from 30 seconds to 5 minutes, depending on the size of the project. It'll tell me that migration is completed with warnings. Generally, the warnings will tell you that there were certain issues. In this case, um, the warning is pretty meaningless, so I can just move on. What I want to do now is do a quick simulation on the MP277 HMI to make sure that it looks like it migrated OK. In this case, it, it seems to have migrated fine. All, all of the screens seem to work. Um, I don't see any major issues here. So now I can go ahead and replace the MP277 with a comfort panel. Because the comfort panel is a widescreen format and the MP277 is a 4x3 format, I need to have some sort of scaling for my objects. If I don't want to scale, I can hit None. I can do Fit to Screen. Uh, I can also do Fit to Height or Width. Uh, I found what works the best is Fit to Height with the, with the objects on the left side of the screen, but this is all generally personal preference. Once I've picked uh, how I want the layout to, to migrate in, I can go back to my Devices and Networks tab Right click on the HMI and hit change device. Select the new panel. In this case, an MP277 10 inch is replaced by a TP1200, which is a 12 inch widescreen comfort panel. It changes the device, and now I want to do a quick simulation to see if it uh, migrated over OK. Now you'll notice a couple of the buttons don't look quite right, so I am going to have to go in and manually make some changes but it seems like most of the screens work the way they should. If you have any additional questions or would like to see more instructional videos, give us a call or visit us on our website and check out our social media accounts for the most up-to-date content.